Solving a quadratic equation by factorising a grade B question. Now this question is a part C of another question that's had some basic multiplying out brackets. Solving a quadratic equation is quadratic because it has an x squared term. It's slightly uh, unusual because they put the, the number on the right hand side. So to get it in a standard form we need to move the 10 over to the left to get it equal to 0 and then we have to try and find some factors. So it is x squared on its own, so it's x times x. We're trying to make minus 10, so we're trying to multiply to give 10 or minus 10. And there are only two ways of doing that with whole numbers. And we're trying to add to give minus 3. Because it's minus 10 here, one's positive, one's negative. Because it's minus 3 here, the bigger of the two is negative. So it's either minus 10 or minus 5. Which of these two add to give us minus 3? Well, this adds to give us minus 9. This one adds to give us minus 3. So it's going to be plus 2 and minus 5 equals 0. Now, to, to finish it off, you need to say that the first bracket is equal to 0. So that tells us that x must equal minus 2. Because that is the only time this whole equation is going to be 0, when this bracket is 0 or when this bracket is 0. Because 0 times anything is 0. The second bracket, x minus 5 equals 0, implies that x equals 5. So we've got x equals minus 2 or 5 for 4 marks. And marks for this question, you'll get one mark for just rearranging it into the right form. You'll get another mark uh, if you have got it in the form that you've got x plus or minus something times x plus or minus something where the two somethings multiply to give you a value of 10. So 1 on 10 or 2 and 5. And then you get another mark for having the correct value, so x minus 5 and x plus 2 in either way. And then 1 for the actual answer, minus 2 or 5. So 4 marks.